I would say that a, a strength that I think dyslexia has given me more thinking power by me sharing my story to the 1800 freshmen that we brought into school. I had several students say, hey, I, I deal with dyslexia uh, and uh, I have, or I have ADHD and I just don't see, I'm doing school for my parents. I just didn't see myself succeeding, but to see that you're at the top of your profession and you've made it. And what's crazy now, the people that uh, used to say, hey, you're, you're uh, slow or you're dumb or you can't do this, now they're calling me for jobs. As educators, we have jobs for our students. That's why we're here. And so starting from the very basic and talking to that teacher, making sure their child is making pro progression um, within the classroom. Is it ongoing? Is it very slow? Um, what are the Dibbles assessments saying? Um, how are they progress monitoring? Biggest piece, are they progress monitoring? Are they providing intervention? Ask for that data. My hopes for our students with uh, dyslexia are for them to really set high potential for themselves. You know, if you have a goal for yourself, you set that goal and you try to achieve it. I want them to work on going to college if that's what they want to do. I want them to set that career if that's what they want them to do. My daughter wants to be an anesthesiologist. Is it going to be hard? Absolutely, but she can do it. And all she has to do is set her mind to it. What I would want people to know about their journey is that it's not over just yet because they are still young and they still have a lot to learn because I go over stuff over and over and over again. All right, mama, I got it. But I need to make sure that you got it because I tell them all the time, my mama might not be here. So I want to give you some good foundation. Just because they say you're dyslexic, that don't mean that. That's just a word.